Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I use LTSpice to uh, conduct a double pulse testing for a MOSFET. Usually the double pulse test is used to assess the switching losses for a switch. Maybe that switch is a MOSFET or an RGBT or something else. Now we have in this model a power supply and that power supply is 35 volt in my example but you can change it to any different value based on the uh, values uh, or breakdown voltage of your um, of your MOSFET or the test voltage you want to conduct your test at. We have also here uh, an inductive load and I choose in that inductive load to be 1 milliampere and we have the freewheeling load for that. I inserted this in resistor just to speed up the simulation time and also to make it easy for Altispice to solve the circuit and also it represents the um, the uh, equivalent series resistance for the inductor this is the switch that we are going to test the switching losses at at double pulse testing we are generating double pulse and that double pulse will turn on and off the switch two times for the first pulse we are looking at the off uh, instant and for the second pulse we are looking at the on instant to assess the switching losses the on state and on transition and off transition we are choosing double pulse testing because we are looking at assessing the uh, uh, the losses the switching losses at the same current and we'll explain this more now okay once we conduct the or run the simulation, we are we will look at the voltage between the gate, the, the drain and source, and also the current ID, which is from the drain to source. Okay. Now this is one of the transistors that I'm I'm considering today, which is IRF fourteen zero seven, and the double pulse test is is conducted or is is done by this um, independent voltage source and i have chosen these different times just to um, to target a specific value of the current now uh, at off state i'm i'm supplying to the gate a minus 5 volt and at on state i'm supplying 20 volt okay you can choose different voltages based on your test okay so we will look at now the results of the test and let's run the system and I choose to make it vertical okay and again here I'm looking at not the load current it's the voltage to, to sorry, voltage between the drain and source of this transistor and also ID which is the current at this point here and here how it look like let us just make the voltage and current for example this is minus 4 just to make the zero point at the same axis here okay and now this is the double pulse test okay this is the first pulse if we are looking at the gate as well okay I will just add another plot pane here and we are looking at the gate or the, the generation so this is the first pulse and this is the second pulse the first pulse is longer because it will charge start charging the inductor to a specific value of current okay and I'm now targeting here about one ampere so I have given it a, a, enough time okay to build one ampere okay and after that I switch it off and waited a little bit of time okay and trigger it on again okay uh, and it will start at the same current why because the inductor keeps the same current for some time okay and during that current it will go to the freewheeling diode but when you switch it again here it will take it out to the transistor so we will take now this one ampere as the point that we will assist our uh, transistor at and then we switch it off after some time so the transitions that we are interested in is this transition here and this transition here this is the off transition and this is the on transition and both are happening at the same current which is about one ampere okay so we are testing our tra our transistor now uh, at 35 volt one ampere okay w you can choose different scenarios if you want okay so this is now the off transition i can zoom more and more 
for example I can see here the current rising up and the voltage um, sorry the voltage here is going up and the current is uh, falling down okay so this is the transition here I can also um, plot the power okay dissipated during this transition by going to the MOSFET and pressing ALT key and pressing on the MOSFET okay so it comes here so I will just delete it and bring it to this point here so it is here and I will choose a different color for that which is for example variable or binky okay so again we can go and zoom okay and here is the transition okay this is the transition period okay and this is the transition power instantaneous power okay I can zoom more and more to understand about this transition more so what is the transition time I can estimate it by looking at okay the current and voltage this the current starts to or the voltage starts to uh, uh, grow here at this period so I can say from that point to this point is the transition time and on the left corner bottom it says about 29 29 nanosecond 29 nanosecond and I can zoom more to this period okay and go to this power and press control key and press on this it will generate for me the uh, energy loss energy loss is about 759 nanojoule okay that's the off transition I can go back and go to the on transition again this is the on transition I can do similar thing okay so the transition happened maybe from this point here to this region okay and it is 55 nanosecond approximately and if I go maybe a little bit more and uh, co co compute the uh, losses the energy losses it will be 2.3 microjoule okay this is just an example you can consider different consideration like okay you might consider for example this tail just this tail here okay or you escape it or you say okay that's the transition period exactly where the voltage and current stop increasing or decreasing so from that point to this point where they start increasing and decreasing so this is another consideration okay so it depends on how you consider the, the transition okay so that's the uh, double pulse test for the first switch and this is a silicon switch a MOSFET I will now change it to a silicon carbide one and here is the other MOSFET is silicon carbide MOSFET and it is C2M 1170D okay so I have downloaded this library from their website okay and then I just brought it by uh, the um, the command dot lib okay and I have named exactly the same library name or the same component name in this library by the same MOSFET here okay so I have I have mentioned how you uh, download or install new components in the in Antispice and this is one of the ways now I will delete this now okay or just uh, put it on a side okay and bring this here by the way what what we notice here we have here different uh, or additional input so I will I will just connect the drain and source and finally we have here TC this TC is the temperature reference or temperature of the case okay and I have uh, to just to make the simulation accurate I have to connect it to as voltage source mimics a, uh, a temperature 25 uh, degree okay that's the ambient temperature or the case temperature that means I am installing this MOSFET on a heat sink or something else that's the temperature of it is 25 uh, degree okay and the voltage source will represent the value of the uh, of the temperature okay that will make sense more for this model okay again I will keep everything as it is this MOSFET um, can handle a 1200 volt but I will just keep the same test here and the same period just for comparison okay 
So I will run the simulation again. But here we have just uh, a message, an error message, and I think because of this one, so I will delete it just in case and run the system. Okay, I have to uh, refresh everything. So in this part here, I will get this value and this part here. Okay, and this part here, I will just delete and um, add a new plot here and we'll take the voltage between drain and source and also the current okay again you have to replot some values because i think uh, what when you change mosfet and uh, other components it might change also the network name and you have to consider it here okay this is the double pulse test result now again we are looking at this edge here because it's the turn off and this is the turn on so turn off edge here or transition again we have a little bit of a different maybe um, a waveform better okay uh, we can make this and this as zero but I want just to plot the uh, power and yes here is the power I will change that to for example binky okay so here again we have the transition starts from this point approximately to this point here it is 19 nanosecond okay and it's shorter than the first one and if we consider the uh, the energy dissipated it's 55 nanojoule okay now let's go back to the uh, other transition here we will zoom okay that's more clear here and the transition starts from this point for example to this point okay and it is 7 nanosecond it's very short okay and you can also consider the energy dissipated it's 168 nanojoule okay that's the results coming out from the simulation but maybe they are different from the results in the practical test because maybe different uh, circuit consideration or parasitics or spikes okay uh, calculation or accuracy it depends also on the measurement tools that you are using. For example, uh, are you using double uh, high bandwidth uh, props, voltage prop and uh, current prop, or you are using just uh, um, a traditional one, which might limit the bandwidth and you might lose some of the speed because of how you prop it. So it's very, it's very important to consider the practical aspects that uh, you have to compare it with the simulation because the sensors also and the props playing a very vital role in the test. That's everything for the double pulse testing. That's used just for assessing the simulation time and comparing different simula different switches and different MOSFET technologies or IGBTs, different materials also uh, to assess the, uh, the transition and if there is any resonance happening or you can use it also for testing a gate driver for example if you have different gate drivers okay you are testing one mosfet for different gate drivers you can use this test as well to assist the gate driver uh, ability to drive this mosfet for example you can change here the voltages not not from minus 5 to 20 it might be 0 to 18 for example I'm considering here bipolar driving which is from minus or negative value to a positive value but you can consider a uh, unipolar which is uh, from 0 to 18 or to 20. Anyway, that's everything about the double pulse test. I have I, I hope you have found it informative and thank you very much.